Hey guys, Cash One coming at you with a brand new video. This video is gonna be my monthly uh pickup video where I show everything that I picked up for the month. So uh this is uh October 2018 uh Blu-ray pickup video. I'm gonna show everything I picked up for this month or last month I should say because today's November 1st. So yeah, I wanted to do this yesterday for you guys, but I got super busy with Halloween with all the trick-or-treaters and just having a good time. So I'm gonna show I got about 33 pickups and um bunch of stuff this month uh have fun picking up some good stuff here so um we're gonna get right into it so first we're gonna show the non horror stuff i have some of the stuff i have broken up but it's weird how i broke them up but first is the non horror and then then i want to show some still books i picked up so the first one I'm showing, I I got from a uh, Kermit Scott. He sent me, and I just did unboxing for that, for this, and that is Hell Comes to Frog Town. Hell Comes to Frog Town from Arrowville. This is a Region B locked, so uh, you need a Region B player to play this. This is a uh, Roddy Piper. Um, I haven't seen this in a while. I still need to watch this. I, I remember liking it, but I know it's cheesy, so um, it's, it might not be for everybody. So, but I had to get this. I've been wanting this for a while. So, hell comes to Frog Town. So, next is the Disney exclusive. I'll be home for Christmas from the Disney Club exclusive right here. It's a fun one. Have another one I haven't seen in a while. And the next ones here is the Quick and the Dead. I got from my subscriber. Uh, Ken Harrigan, thank you so much for sending this out. Awesome movie, guys. Alright. Next, we got Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The 25th anniversary, which I did the digital contest for. And that was fun. And then the last two, which are non-horror, is Dwayne the Johnson and Skyscraper, which I had fun with. I like this movie a lot. I know it, it, a lot of people didn't like it uh, that much, but I thought it was cool. And then the last is the Ant-Man and the Wasp, which I thought was a fun sequel. Um, Had a little more action than the last one. I think it stepped up the game, and it was a, uh, it's a fun watch. So if you liked the first one, I think you'll definitely dig this one. And if you didn't like the first one... You might dig this one as well because, like I said, this is a little better. And I, I heard that some people who didn't care for the first one actually did like this. So, I would say check it out. I think you guys might dig it. Okay. So, next, we're going to the still books. I got about seven still books here. And I'm going to try to show these in the order. Order. Order? Order that I picked them up. So, the first one I got here is... The limited edition steel book for Killer Clowns from Out of Space. And um they got these they had these at Best Buy. This is uh basically this is the MGM release that's inside here. And um I, I wanted to get the child's play one as well, which I did not get. But I like this. This is a cool steel book. Um Did I do an unboxing for this? I can't remember. But yeah, this is cool. Got that for 10 bucks. There's a spine, guys, if you want to see the spine. Maybe that's... Anyway. Cool still book. Same, like I said, it's the same disc that was in the original, the regular MGM edition. So next we got The Shining. Another cool still book here. Try to put these in the orders that I got these in. And we got it the 1990 and then beady beady beetlejuice man i can't talk right here i'm saying beady what the heck beetlejuice yeah awesome classic 80s and the last ones here are some the screen factories of halloween 2 halloween 3 the season of the witch which I like. I know some people do not like it. But it's cool. It's fun. And then Night of the Demons. Which I was watching yesterday. 
on one here guys this is a new 4k transfer really fun all right and those are the steel books nice i wanted to get some more like i said i wanted to get that child's play one from this uh this set here that they were doing at best buy I think you can get them at other places, but I've seen them at Best Buy is where I was seeing them at. So, but Child's Play was another one that I wanted. So, next we're gonna do Horror Pack. And I'm gonna show from this month's Horror Pack and last month's. Because last month's came super late. I, I Some people got it like at the very end of September, but I got it like the first week. Like two days into October, so it's in October's pickup. So, so we got eight horror pack uh, ones, four from this month and four from last month. So I'll show the four from last month first, if I can remember which ones or which. And that was Against the Night, A Dark Song, the Bye Bye Man, which was autographed here, as you can see right there. And the Invisible Man. Now, these, these are September's uh, horror pack. Well, I, like I said, I got them this month, so that's why they're in this. And then this month's horror pack was... Let me see. Hold on, let me see. Um... Yeah, Against the Night was the limited edition of from Horror Pack, which was number 27, so. Right. And number 28 from this month is Cannibal, Cannibal Holocaust. Awesome. This is, if you guys haven't seen this movie, it's, it's definitely worth checking out. Um, as I said, when I unboxed this, it's not for everybody. So, um. You know, like I said, it's not for everybody, but you might like it. If you like, you know, Cannibal, Cannibal, whatever movies, you should like it. The Innkeepers. The classic of Hitchcock Birds. And Exeter. Alright. Moving right along, guys. So, I'm going to get the last of these up here. And next we got a couple of epic um pictures dot com that I got and that was Tales of Halloween. Most of these I showed maybe a few I haven't showed. Turbo Kid. Awesome. Both awesome movies. This one I know I didn't show. I picked up at Best Buy for about five ninety nine in the bin. I liked it. I know I saw the review like reviews and the ratings and, and it's low. But I, I have fun with this, and it's called Wish Upon, which is a fun um, horror movie. It's it's like PG-13, but this is a unrated cut, and um, it's basically about this this teenage girl. She um she gets this gift, this box. It's like a music kind of like a music box, and it's a wish it's a wish box. But she don't know it's a wish box, and she looks at it and she sees like it has writing on it. It's like a, um, I think like Chinese writing on it and stuff. And, uh, she don't really, she does say it says wish or something. So she, she does make a wish. And the thing is, whatever you wish, if it comes, it comes true, something, what happens is something bad starts to happen to people that are close to her. And she doesn't realize what's going on at first. And then as it progresses, she realizes what's going on. And, um... It's cool. It's a fun one. Um, I definitely would say try to check it out. I mean, I don't know. I would say it might be worth the six bucks, if you know, to check it out. I mean, I know they had this on sale yesterday, on the Halloween sale on Voodoo. But um, that's not bad. I actually have fun with this one. All right, next we got, we got um some movies here. I got with uh, my Halloween ho Hell Horror Swap box that I did with um. I was paired with Uneasy Andy, and I got three Blu-rays and one DVD. The DVD I got was Torso, right here. Pretty cool. Next I got from Screen Factory The Nest. 
ghost town it's also from screen factory and then heels that have eyes cool cool ones thank you so much uh uneasy andy for sending these to me in my swap box that they were Alright, next, the last ones are, these are all slip covers, and, um, I'll show the new ones first. So, this one, I got this in the beginning of the month. It's a new release. I, I wanted to see it, so I grabbed it. It came with the code, so I was like, oh, I can put this in my voodoo. So, I grabbed it. And that is Tales from the Hood 2. And it's okay, guys. It's not, like, if you're going to pair it to the, the first one, you like, forget it. The first two anthologies in this, I, I thought were okay, not too bad. I felt like as it progressed through the through, through the movies, through the, through the stories, you know, it, it kind of went down a little bit. But um, I say it's worth a check out. I you know I, I got this for like thirteen dollars I think. But um, they did have this. They had sales on um, Voodoo for this. But I would say the best bet to check this out right now, if you have Netflix, it's on Netflix. So check out Netflix. Even if you don't have Netflix, you can do that free trial thing and you can check it out that way. And that's uh, Tales from the Hood too. Um, but I w saying that even though I didn't like, I, I liked it, but not that much. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing them do like every Halloween, you know, in October, maybe push out a new Tales from the Hood. You know, anthologies. I love anthology movies. So, I mean, some of these, some of the anthologies was okay. But some other ones weren't, like I said. So, they kind of like, eh. Next, I got the Purge 4 movie collection. This was a, a my mom picked this up for me. It was a surprise kind of thing. And, um, I had the other ones, but, you know, I didn't have the collection. So, this was cool because I didn't have the fourth one. So, and then I was able to do a contest for you guys. So, that was fun. So, that was the fourth film collection. Or the perch, and the last ones here, which are probably my favorite, some of my favorites from this month's pickup, is Massimo Overdrive from Restaurant Video Collective Series, which I'm super happy just finally got a USA Blu-ray release. I mean, this movie, it felt like it took so long. But this is awesome. The the transfer is excellent. And you got a bunch, a bunch of special features back there. And there's no crustiness in here at, at all with the, you know, with the eco-friendly case. There's no eco-friendly case. So there's no crustiness this time around. So I'm super happy. And it has artwork, you know. So Vestron actually push, push out a pretty good, excellent, I think a pretty excellent release here right here this time around, guys. And, um... I would love to see, like we have, we're on, this is number 17. I would love to see the next one be The Wraith. I mean, I know everybody's been asking for that. So, I would love to see that happen. And, um, maybe, even though it's not really a horror, but I would love to see maybe Little Monsters get a release into that, uh, into this line maybe. So, anyway, enough of me rambling about what I like to see. Then push out. The next one, like I said, these last two, these are like some of my favorites from this pickup from this month. Is Trick or Trick or Treat, the Screen Factory Edition here, Collector's Edition, with that awesome artwork. Super cool. Now I did pre-order this. Was supposed to get this early, and it got delayed. And then um, I got like a four dollar credit, which I haven't used yet. But, um, and I had ordered this with the, I, was, I thought I was going to get the poster, but I guess I ordered it after the poster because it was sold out because it didn't come with one. So, I also sent this to, um, Uneasy Andy for his swap. I had ordered, uh, two of them because whoever I got swapped with, that's who I was going to, uh, I was going to send them one. So, I ordered one for me and one for whoever I was swapped with. And, uh, but yeah, super happy to get this. This is awesome, awesome uh, addition here, guys. I uh, highly recommend picking this up if you like this movie. Alright, and the last one here, I just got a few days ago, and I did show unboxing for this, is the Cold Ray release of Savage Streets. And this is uh, exclusive to RoninFlix.com. 
you guys can get over there. And um, this is an 80s film from 1984, Linda Blair. It's a vigilante style movie. And um, very, very fun 80s style. You know, it's 80s movies, so 80s. It's just really cool movie. The soundtrack is, is awesome. And it's a all around fun movie. I highly recommend checking this out, guys, if you haven't. So, so that was my pickups, guys. 33, I said. As always, guys, Blu ray, this is awesome. It's, um, I'm not doing no digital contests on this one, on this video, because I have three running right now. So, um, I leave links down below and you can go check those out. I have the Batman the Animated Series digital code copy contest going I have the Teen Titans digital code copy contest going I'm doing three winners for that one and then I just announced today I'm doing the um the spy who dumped me digital code contest running so be sure to go check out those videos guys uh you must be subscribed to the channel to enter for them as always guys blue and this is awesomeness and if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button hit a like comment down below let me know what was your favorite uh that I picked up this month peace out guys and it's not stopping.